Um, we're gonna build the. Uh, we're gonna do a California legal uh, grocery bag. Kind of a play on the pre-ban, post-ban shit. But California did pass a bunch of uh, grocery bag laws. So I have a bag I'll cut out here. I have never built it before. This is the first time I've built it. We're going to video building it through the first time. I'm sure there'll be some things I've you know missed or have to change or something. But uh, we're going to video it just to get a time of how long it takes the first time. So it should only get faster than that. So in production, it should be even faster than this to build. It's, it's pretty simple. So we'll just video it up and see what happens with it. And I'm pulling up a timer to time it. I scissor cut these and didn't cut them on the machine so they're not burned. When we started doing this shit, we used to have, uh, we couldn't afford hot cutters or anything. So everything we did was with a lighter. We had a, uh, an order for a thousand SOCOM holsters and I think it had 23 pieces of webbing in it. And it was all said and done. So that was uh, 60, 46 pieces. It had raw edges. Damn. And we'd burn them with lighters. And uh, I bet you out a lot of the lighters would get so hot, we'd go up to my friend's job at night mm -hmm. with all this webbing and like 10 of us would burn these things. And just sear them on the edges. The lighters would get so hot that this piece would heat up, it would melt this, and all of a sudden go psh, and all the gas would blow out, and a little piece of flint and spring would shoot out. Damn. Now we got you know manual cutters, but we couldn't even afford a manual cutter, much less a digital cutter. Our digital cutters that we use right now are about four thousand dollars a piece. They look symmetrical. I didn't think about it on the first one. I should have started here and went this way. That way I can just travel straight into this next piece here. Consideration. I'm going to sew back over all this so I didn't even have to tap it in like that on this first piece. So we're going to take all this shit here and hide it with this.
definitely not the fastest or most straightforward way to build this, but like everything else, it's a uh, California legal, you know, it'll cost more and have a premium, so build it a little, a little bit.
scissors.
That's the biggest question is where we're going to put this patchy velcro. So I wanted to get this on here just so I could visualize it. California happen yet, but I'm sure they'll have some vulgarity laws, and since our logo says fuck in it, and we put it here, we give them an extra Velcro so they can patch over and hide it if they need to. I would not be surprised. But you know they're gonna say it's for the children. It is for the children. I don't make any bad. Am I missing something? Here? I think that's all of it. Like how your Z's on that are no longer Z's, they are X's. That one, that just got, I got lucky. I'll bet you it's not on the other side. It might be, we'll find out. Yeah, see. Ah, uh, damn it. So I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. It doesn't really matter, but on the final ones, they'll all match up. We'll have a, a sew direction on it. That's how you'll know if it's a male or female. I'm not sure if we're going to outside seeing these or inside them. I think we're going to try something different. Sew it all around the whole perimeter. We might end up with too much or too little on the other side. And since I haven't test fit this, and this is the first time we built one. I'll run from the sides, and if I have too much, I'll pleat it in the middle on the bottom, and if there's not enough, we'll stretch the shit out of it. So I'll be a pleat on the opposite side of that. But I think, I think we'll be good now, twice.
no consistency in these. I'll open a brand new pack of bobbins and 100 bobbins. Some will go right on the post, no problem. And some of them are you know, tighter. And then we take some out that are completely loose and unusable. It's like they're, they're boxing them out of separate batches and shit. There's just no consistency to anything. You'll see that in a lot of the sewing machine parts now. Most of these machines were uh, Japanese design. And many of them were Japanese manufacturer, and even the Japanese companies are now manufacturing in China. They're just, uh, they need old, to step up their game. The old tooling, yeah, most of those, most, we're using a lot of old, old machines, so they probably weren't, you know, CNC. A lot of it's cast stuff. 